Let's explore Office 365. When you log into Office 365, the first thing you're going to discover is a couple of unique parts of this home screen. This upper part, where it says Install Office on your Mac, first of all, it recognizes that I'm using a MacBook and not a PC. If I were using a PC, it would say Install Office on your PC. This is what the status provided to all teachers and students in the county. You could install Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and OneNote on your Mac. And you would do that, you can do that on your home Mac. You won't need to do that on a school Mac or on your school PC. So this upper part you can word, forget about for right now. Okay, let's look at the bottom part. Collaborate with Office Online. What you're going to find here are a whole bunch of buttons on all of the various parts of Office 365 that's available online or on the web. It's important to realize that each of these apps, which are known as thin apps, and the difference between a thin app and the full program is that the thin app has enough to make the program work. It has all of the features that you would need for the basic program. However, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles of the full program. So for example, the mail or this Outlook program, there are things that you can do. You can email, you can send emails, you can receive emails, you can remove things like that. But you can't do everything that you could do in full Outlook. The same thing is true with calendar, etc. Right now, let's take a look at a couple of the very simple ones that we all know really well. Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Each of these thin apps are truly that, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. What's nice about these apps is that you can use them online, and they are not device specific. So I can use them on a PC, I can use them on a Mac, I can use them on an iPad, etc. Let's start with something simple like PowerPoint. As I launch my PowerPoint, the very first thing you're going to see is PowerPoints that I have recently completed and or I can create a new PowerPoint. So you're going to see that I have options to do a template or I can start with something very plain. So let's start with a template. Now you're going to discover that I'm, I'm ready to go. And it starts to look just like PowerPoint does for us. We have all of the main features where I can add, insert new slides, I can add tables, I can change my design, I can do my transitions. Notice that my transitions are limited. I still have them, I just don't have all of them. The same thing is true with my animations. They're limited. I have some, but not all. Then, of course, I have the ability to save as, or create new, etc. under the options. Up here, I want to point one more thing out to you, and that's this share button because this will allow me to share with another person or work collaboratively with another person. And when I'm all said and done, I will just click Save and it will automatically save my PowerPoint.